Well, hello everybody. Sorry for a little delay. Mm. So let's begin with uh, today's webinar. And today's topic is, of course, Skyway technology. And we're going to take a glimpse and then take a further look into the technology itself and why it's so so uh, great to witness such a development of, of this new generation uh, second level string technology. So uh, hold your hats and uh, let's move on. Let's see what we have, um, what I have tonight to tell you because the in topic is very interesting and so much is there to share. Of course, I'm going to share the most important one and, and if you are looking into further information after, afterwards our webinar tonight then of course you can ask me freely about any question you have but the mostly i recommend a book called 100 questions and 100 answers where most of the answers for your uh, different questions um, are there so um, uh, anyway, let's let's move on. I hope can you hear me? I hope I'm hope you hear him. So, but about myself a little bit. My name is Michael. I'm from Estonia, and I've been a Skyway investor and then a, a developer of this technology and an active partner for Skyward community for more than four years by now. And it's been an honor and a great pleasure to, um, to be on this journey with, with this amazing company. And of course, we have something to share with people. We have a, we have a opportunity for, for um, other folks as well. So therefore, I think it's absolutely amazing to know about this technology and then and uh, and to share it of course so let's begin um, as you might well realize by now or, or maybe you don't know this yet but about 100 years ago people already pictured a future as you can see on this slide right now this was made about 100 years ago this picture and it describe or the or the um, title of this uh, painting was uh, hundred years into the future. So hundred years is here now, and as we can as we can say, we have today this uh, second level technology already existing here. Of course, many of different technologies uh, have been tried as well and are in use. Um, those I will share you in in a few minutes. Mm, but uh, and the most important is that we will find the, the right technology that will will fill all the conditions and, and uh, fill all the necessities people have today in this fast developing world. But uh, well, what else I want to share maybe mm, when looking at this picture is uh, is um, well. What what can take into today from our everyday life is that we have a perfect first level infrastructure already built all over the world, at least in developed uh, cities, bigger cities, Paris, for example, Rome, um, uh, Saint Petersburg, Moscow, uh, United States, bigger cities, New York, for example. They all have this first level infrastructure, tramways, uh, buses, um, trains going between cities cars of course and uh, nowadays all these uh, electrical well bicycles scooters uh, skateboards and so on uh, but what else these uh, developed um, well these um, metropoles have uh, in common is that they all have subways so underground transportation as well but the problems the challenges only arise um, the new challenges arise more people are going to live in the cities or work there Therefore, more cars, more uh, more room or more space is needed. But where can we get space in bigger cities? We just cannot tear down ancient buildings to, to build a new 
new line of road there. So therefore, the new solutions are needed and then the, the need for them is growing rapidly. So second level, the only way to go next. But let's see what uh, people have done already mm, by year 2022. Of course, this is the Skyway technology. Mm, and then uh, this is the one I'm recommending and sharing uh, that uh, we should go to second level with this technology. But uh, more about this very soon. Mm, now, yes, this is what has already been done. So monorail on the right. That one is, um, mm, I think, one of the most common ones. Uh, well, it has this massive construction or this massive uh, elements uh, attached to it. As you can see, the, already the track itself is very big and, and uh, massive and, and the supports under it, mm, uh, those are very big. And those are the same inside the cities as well. So, I mean, not on, only on the river, this big or this size, but uh, as well as... Uh, as on the mainland. So monorail, yes. Mm. Um, I think I have one more picture of it. Yeah, here it is. So here you can see it, how massive and uh, and these supports have to be in, uh, or after every about 15 to 20 meters as well. So this is very often, if you compare it with Skyway, this uh, the first slide I showed you, I can show you again. Yes, this one. Here, these supports can be after every uh, between one and the two kilometers. So it's absolutely undescribable describable the difference between those those two elements because uh, this is one one main thing what catches the eyesight. Uh, well, first one of course is the track, and you can get used to the track if it's like here on the left side. But uh, if the supports are also after every 15 meters, then this this will definitely not be the very, very, well, like, um, exciting, maybe. Because we, we want this freedom and, and, and great eyesight, of course, beautiful surroundings. But uh, comparing with Skyway now, of course, the speed is uh, tw twice, uh, twice as, uh, well, Skyway technology is twice as fast as monorail, so well up to uh, 150 kilometers. Of course, inside the cities, it's uh, quite impossible to reach these levels uh, because we have these um, well stations um, after every maybe hundreds of, hundreds of meters, maybe a few kilometers, and so on. Mm, and track length, of course, that one is also very very important that monorail has limited track length but uh, skyway is basically and and the bigger idea and the bigger concept is that we will uh, skyway will build a transnet it's called the well basically a connection or a network of uh, different cities uh, different places uh, and all these are connected with with the line but the uh, other great thing about skyway is that the uh, it is not the well, well the driver itself uh, is not necessary there because it's uh, aut autonomous self-driving vehicle and and it can be remotely controlled and and there are of course all these technological parts and and uh, mm, well these scanners and cameras and uh, laser beams to 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 collect the data from surroundings and if there is any obstacle for example or whatever can can get on the way so to say then it immediately stops and and alerts the system so it's, it's very safe there for us as well mm. and the uh, traffic interval is another thing what is very great about skyway is uh, well basically the maximum um, what we can get out of the city if you think about getting on board off to, the, to another station or basically getting off the station and then the another uh, model or the another um, uh, unibus or unicar will come then the, the, the maximum difference or the minimum difference can be three seconds after each three seconds another uh, unicar can leave the uh, station mm. but uh, of course <laughs> we have to think about the, the time that the people need to take to get on board and to get off board. So 
so that therefore it cannot be three seconds it's it's definitely longer but it's not minutes or uh, or tens of minutes uh, or five minutes or ten ten minutes or, or more mm, like we have today with subways or trains or, um, or trams of course and uh, and uh, but those can be after. It depends on how how much at that time, the how much how big is the flow of people at at the specific time, and therefore the system can calculate it and it will send as many unibus or unicars uh, to the track as as many as needed to service uh, smoothly all the people there. So that's that's the main point I wanted to say. So uh, very great point. To, to calculate about uh, using this technology and therefore the number of passengers also grows rapidly comparing with monorail for example or other similar technologies yes one picture of subway this one is uh, can be seen in Berlin, in Germany. Uh, also, the supports have to be after each, well, 15, 20, 25 meters. Mm, this one is like a tramway uh, in China, mm, just upside down. But uh, in, if you think about the, the technology itself, then it's uh, tramway. But now this slide also is, is very interesting because, uh, um, mm, well, let me think, let me recall. Mm, I'm recalling. Just a second, sorry. Cable car. Yeah. Yes, I was uh, recalling the name. <laughs> I'm very sorry. I had it in my mind in uh, three different languages, but not in English. So cable car, of course. And um, uh, the thing about cable car is that the capsule or, or well, the cabin where people get inside or on board, that one is based to or, or attached uh, to the string or to the cable and the cable moves. The, um, there is is on the same spot all the time, but the cable moves, and therefore, as you can see on on the right side, there's the orange wheel that one spins and then uh, pulls the cable basically. And this is the technological part about this. But it's slow; it's about 20, 25 kilometers per hour, and then there are other. Uh, well, it's it's expensive as well, but it's uh, it's quite popular. I have seen it myself at least in three different places. But uh, and I know many well governments want to construct it, but but it's mostly well, it, it has all the attributes for tourism, so to say. But uh, but serving the network of transport as efficiently as efficiently as it well has to, or or, or is needed at at this current time, then uh, it's uh, not doing not doing the job. Uh, yes, this is one is the solution, similar to the cable car, as you can see, but uh, it has its own motor wheels, it has its own uh, batteries, um, and then the uh, electrical engine, so it moves. And as you can see here on the slide, there are these elements in front of the nose and in the back of, of the tail, and those will attach to each other perfectly, so whatever reason reasons there should be to to so the one unicar will have to stop and cannot move further then the other one can and pull or lift it to the maintenance or station yes so definitely new age 21st century technology mm, well the creator of it is doctor uh, is dr anatoly nitsky and he has had this idea in his mind about 40 years and even more and then he has much more ideas and uh, when 2015 uh, at that year 
the first uh, construction started, uh, the first track, uh, the building of first track started. And today we have demonstration certification centers. One is in Belarus and the other one is United Arab Emirates. And uh, there are, well, altogether about 10 different uh, tracks uh, or lines and all these uh, different models. But I will show you these pictures as well. Mm, now, let's see, why Skyway? Well, the, of course, the innovation is the main thing. And that's basically slash to 21st century. So, mm, and innovation is the, the motor wheels, as you can see on this slide. And there is a detail, uh, uh, derailment system. If we put, uh, lift it upside down, uh, the track just just uh, imaginary, then it will stay there stiffly. It won't move anywhere or fall off. Mm, here you can see as well. Well, this is the other track um, structure, different track. Uh, that's uh, mono uh, double rail. Sorry, double rail. And here, here both of these sides can be used. Uh, we can, well, for example, express line can go on top of the track, uh, and then the well, the unibus unicar, which has to take many stations or uh, do many stops uh, along the way that one goes underneath. So that's double efficiency again, comparing to with tramways or trains or, or even monorail, because monorail also can go only above the track, but uh, this one can be here can be used both both sides. And of course the string and the rail head and then the track itself, uh, it's basically a metal uh, body frame. Inside there are pre-stressed strings. That's uh, also, it's like a bridge. That's why these supports can be also after each uh, few kilometers, not after every 20 meters like like uh, we are used to today by the technologies that are that are well built already. And then it's filled with special fillers. What else? We can take electricity, for example. We can uh, take uh, mm, uh, well uh, electricity or this internet cable, whatever lightning cables through the track structure itself as well. Yes, a few years ago I had chance to, it's almost three years actually now that was the picture was taken in 2019 uh, when the last ECOFEST uh, took place. Well, last, I uh, hopefully not last, but um, before Corona um, crisis and all these pandemics uh, uh, situation globally and that one was the last one uh, but hopefully next year we will uh, get the chance to go there again because it's amazing and i myself got chance to try with, with the uni car what you can see on the background there up high and it was it was very great all right uh, second uh, point is that it's ecological no um, direct co2 level well exhaustions because it uses electricity electricity can be um, uh, can be well means from the sun for example with solar panels which can be attached to the track structure itself as well or wind turbines uh, both to the models and to the track structures so yes uh, that's why it's 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 quite uh, great mm -hmm. that's the topic i was just telling you about Uh, all right. Mm -hmm. This situation takes place in Japan and it's an everyday normal situation. There are uh, people or workers called pushers who push people to the uh, subway and so the door can cl doors can close and, and uh, then the next group of people the same thing so if we get on board a little bit too early then imagine how uh, difficult <laughs> it can be to get off the board in the next station so bear that in mind when you travel in Japan then um, of course well the urbanism or, or the people going to cities um, to live and work there 
and abandoning the countryside. That's uh, quite horrible, we can say, but of course the population grows rapidly as well. And then this causes new challenges for the world and uh, Skyway absolutely brilliantly uh, addresses these challenges. So uh, that's why it's a bit as well to change the world and to make it better, better to live and better to, to move because uh, tracks or the road, the road is basically our uh, it's like wings to our uh, inside our body. It's wings to to the economy. How fast we can take goods and cargo and people from one place to another. So wind um, resistance about ten times less than with normal cars, mostly because of of course of the shape of the body. Uh, Skyway models have. To, it's it's basically meant to cut the wind perfectly. And secondly. Mm, uh, secondly, the screen effect mm, is not happening when we are above the well ground, on, uh, 50 meters above the ground on the track structure, then the wind can go perfectly beneath the uh, model. And with cars, we have their asphalt or no road, and therefore it, um, it causes screen effect. Mm -hmm. All kinds of first level infrastructure problems and all these need maintenance, constant maintenance and both in winter time, in summer time, different regions have different uh, situations as you can see on the slides, but all these uh, need massive amounts of, mm, well, income uh, funding and uh, yes so sky again is much simpler mm, then yeah here it is second level there can be wind there can be hot sun uh, there can be well sandstorms or uh, earthquakes even or river flows or whatever uh, skyway remains about the ground can transport both people and cargo. And then, of course, again, if, if you think about funding and constructing new roads, then this reminds us most immediately that, uh, well, at least if I look at look this slice, then to me it reminds how many meters we have to dig on the left side on the, on the slide, how many meters we have to dig uh, underneath. Uh, ground about seven meters to fill it with special filler then uh, the track structure itself uh, it has to hold and we have to maintain it it's uh, it um, well uh, about twice as often as with the uh, skyway then we have to construct a maintenance road uh, next to the railroad there on the left picture again mm, and as well cover it with asphalt as well and then then the fences to so the mass couldn't run or stay in front of the trains, and then of course all the bridges for both for animals for people and taking down the forest and so on and so on. And on the right side, that one is basically well, if you go to Slovenia or, or in the center of the Europe or in Nordics, then uh, this is a great sector of business. This uh, explosion, exploding these mountains or, or making roads through the mountains. Uh, huge amounts of billions of uh, dollars e each year. Now, let's see. But if you can take it directly with Skyway, from one point to another, we can avoid all these uh, huge amounts uh, and huge expenses. And we even have our self-driving helicopter, mm, autonomous helicopter, which can take um, thousands of kilograms at the same time. Basically, this supports and can transport different parts of the technology and then people, of course, and so on. So future 
can be quite great if people want it and understand it and let it come. Yes, and also rivers, not an obstacle as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, so more pictures. And this one in front of uh, in front of the picture, that, that one is called Unibike. That's uh, one or two uh, seats um, located inside it. And, and uh, this one was one of the first models. Actually, these both were one of the first uh, models of their kind and first prototypes. So this is uh, also quite, quite amazing how it all started, just to remind it. And here it here we are today. Uh, the left side is already constructed. The 400 meter track is located in uh, Sarcha in United Arab Emirates. And on the right side, that one should uh, come uh, because uh, two other tracks are under construction at the moment. So so those those are design elements. There, this as I mentioned also before, they can be very beautiful. And in United Arab Emirates, if we want to construct and build there. Uh, lines for commercial well purposes then those have to be beautiful yes and this uh, automated intelligence sy system which is integrated and developed so to screen 360 degrees constantly to get and collect the data from surroundings and uh, then uh, make choices if necessary for for example emergency choices if anybody comes in the way or, or anything and it can stop or start backwording and so on. So to keep people safe there. And uh, yes, this one all, all also already described to you. And if anything happens, uh, so we can we can well. Uh, unibus stops there up high and another unibus is not nearby or cannot come then we have these straps which we can pull around our waist and shoulders and lift ourselves down with this uh, technology also developed by Skyway uh, team so everything has been thought about and it, it is safe to travel with it and what is more even interesting it's so amazing to see uh, well, city, uh, buildings and, and uh, cars and people up, uh, above. So it's absolutely different. It's, it's like going from 2D into 3D, 3D dimensions. And this man also demonstrated this um, getting down with, the, with, the, with this technology and did it perfectly well. All right. And the, <laughs> in the end, I all... all always like to show this picture because the pushers if pushers wasn't enough then this one takes place in india for example and in in these tropical climates developing uh, countries so therefore i leave skyways much safer but all right we, we will continue with these models and products next time so this time i say uh, say Thank you very much, Frank, and I wish everybody, everybody, a great evening and and uh, nice continuing week week uh, weekend, and we will see you already 